I became the manager of Birmingham City and today we are going onto the hunt for a new starting goalkeeper for our third season in the Premier League and also our first season in European competitions in the Europa League namely. That's why we can finally attract some of the world's best goalkeepers. Still though I am not sure if Thibaut Courtois or Jan Oblak will come over from Madrid. Unai Simon, he's 30 and 86 overall, Courtois is the highest rated of the three here, Oblak is 88 and all of those three have their contract expiring but Courtois is 35, Oblak 34, I think the best option would be Unai Simon but then again if we buy someone like Courtois who give us a couple of good seasons, very good seasons then eventually drop off and maybe like a, a goalkeeper like Hiltz could take over in the future, I don't know, that's just a theory. The good thing is that Courtois would only cost us about 10 million, so we'd have about 30 million still left in our budget. Let's see if Ancelotti accepts that, he doesn't. He counters with 11.2 million, we counter, we are very stingy, we counter with 10.5 and he accepts that. So it seems as though we could strike an absolute bargain deal. Hello Courtois, fancy a trip to Birmingham? I don't know if you do, but yeah, I'm gonna give you a three year deed. Let's see how this goes, let's see what kind of a wage he offers, I'm gonna go with 120k and he accepts that, so we have a very uh, quite of unrealistic signing, but then again, he's 35, he's won all there is to win with Real Madrid, maybe he wanted a new challenge in the Premier League and that's what we gave him. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian goalkeeper for 10.5 million, bargain deal for such a world class goalkeeper, he's of course 90 overall at 35, which means of course that Hills goes back to the reserves, he might just get loaned out in the last couple of days in this transfer window, but yeah Courtois in, the, in between the sticks is fantastic. With Courtois into the team, we can see what we are all about immediately here at the Etihad Stadium against Manchester City. Stansfield delivering the ball to Neverton, waiting for the overlap, which happens, but Kerkas gets taken off the ball. Now Zubi Mendy, we haven't seen a lot of him so far, but he was of course one of our signings last episode alongside this man here, Milos Kerkas. Now City uh, here with O'Reilly, step over galore, but good save, Courtois for the first time in action. It's O'Reilly now, Haaland, Christensen, very, very alone, but a big save, Courtois. Another corner for City, it's uh, Jan Kuto to bring it in, delivers, but Courtois commands the air. And then Courtois with an extreme mistake, and we are 1-0 down, I mean... <laughs> After saving us on a couple of occasions, he's now just absolutely shit the bed here. Grealish brings City in front, I mean just get out of here. Pep celebrating with all those twats. Look at this. Look at this, I mean, yeah. Nothing to be commented about. Never thought now, can we react after that shocking setback? It's Kerkes, one of our new signings. Kerkes going ahead, bringing it inside and it gets blocked. Good ball into Haaland, careful, they play short and nice football, it's Haaland again, Haaland, Peraldo is there, still City, O'Reilly, we do have problems to get them off the ball, it's O'Reilly, still, Ethan Laird, they are, oh my god, toying with us, but Courtois with a good save, they are just outshining in us in every department so far, but Cresswell is there, gives the ball back immediately though. Balde, Rodri, plays it in for Kovacic, Kovacic, Kovacic and a big intervention by Beraldo. I mean just look at this, Kovacic was ready to shoot and then there comes Beraldo with that incredible interception. Let's survive that last corner kick presumably here for City and then attack in the second half. Maybe though, Jack Grealish has other ideas, good save Courtois and it's half time. Jack Grealish again, he capitalized on the mistake by Courtois and now he could of course capitalize again but Courtois with a good save against O'Reilly and we lose the ball again, this was Subi Mendy who is a bit rusty, I'm not gonna lie, he needs to catch up to the Premier League 
Courtois with a good save and then they score second. I mean, how unlucky can you be? We didn't get the ball away. And actually it's deserved. Because look at this. I mean, Courtois comes out with a good save then. Falls, the loose ball falls to Rodri. And once again we are in slapstick FC mode. Doesn't seem as though we can compete with Manchester City. It's really difficult, at least. That's what I can tell you for free, lads. Kerkes now. Stansfield isn't in the middle yet. Kerkes goes. Kerkes, try something. Good shot, good save. Audero of all goalkeepers. Erling Haaland. Haaland is always dangerous. Gets the ball back from Grealish. Plays the ball inside. Courtois is there, but once again we don't get this ball away. And Courtois with another brilliant save. Oh, we lose the ball again. Wharton loses it this time. It's Haaland again against Beraldo. Haaland and Courtois once again. I mean, even though he made that mistake, he's been man of the match. We bring on Joe Bellingham for Zubi Mendy, who was very rusty. Stroikens. Good ball. Not enough. Not good enough. I mean, we just don't come out of, the, of our own half here. Wouldn't be surprised if City score another one. It's Haaland against Kerke. Still Haaland. Good ball inside and they score third. That's exactly what I predicted. Rodri with a brace. It's 3-0. We are absolutely under the cosh here. I've brought on uh, Haynes for, of course, Neverton. But I don't think that's going to change a lot here. Because we are three goals down. Diaw. Stroikens. Good ball. Wharton. Wharton still... But loses it out again in the penalty box this time. Could we go on the counter maybe? Yeah, Stansfield again. He's though very much on his own. And the game is done and dusted. We lose 3-0. We get absolutely spanked here. Our first defeat of the season against Manchester City. At the end of the transfer window, we still loan out Alfie Hull to Basel for 12 months. And by the way guys, the Europa League draw has been made. We are in a group alongside Club Bruges, AZ Alkmaar and Apoel from uh, Cyprus. So, a group that we actually should top, I'm not even joking. Next up, with a rotational side, we face Burnley. We should get at least a point here, but we lose 2-0. What is that? What is that nonsense? I mean, are the wheels really coming off now already? 2-0 loss at home to Burnley. They are relegation fodder. Will we get dragged down in a relegation battle here? That is unbelievable. After closing down the transfer window, we have sent away Frederick Hills to West Ham for half a season, the second part of this season. Next up, we need to deliver away to Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. We start off with an attack of our own. It's Diaw. Good ball for Stansfield. Stansfield with a lop, but he was offside, I believe. To be Mandy, he wasn't really filling me with confidence last time out. Maybe today that changes with two weeks of training. Now Stroikens inside for Diao. Great save by the Crystal Palace keeper. Stansfield, Cresswell, Stansfield. Diao now. Diao driving and scoring. We are up 1 0. It's Asan Diao Diao Ne delivering. Careful now, though. A couple of minutes later, it is a Free kick to Crystal Palace. Ulrich taking it, but Cresswell is there in the air. A long cross into the path of Diaw. Gives it to Neverton. Neverton looking for Stansfield and it's 2-0. I think it's an own goal once again. We were on the end of an own goal last uh, game already, I believe. And that's the game done and dusted. 2-0 away win at Crystal Palace. Very, very important. Next up, it is our start, our first game in the Europa League against Club Bruges at home. Our first European game for Birmingham City in this career mode. Neverton starts our first attack here in the Europa League. It is Neverton going on goal, trying his level best and a good save. Still the Yao scores! Immediately 1-0 ahead, Neverton tried it. Shot was blocked, but then the Yao with the rebound. Can we smash them here immediately? It looks good. It stands real and it's 2-0. Goal counts. No offside. We absolutely tear Club Bridge apart in the first 30 minutes. Could get an even bigger gap here as Neverton goes on goal. Neverton, but goalkeeper saves. 
Corner kick in the 54th. It's uh, Diao. Inside. Beraldo. Good save, goalkeeper. Plapruj trying to go forward. It's Judla into Sandra. Good ball into Scoras. Can they get one back here? Creswell doesn't get in and we can see it. 2-1 only. Courtois couldn't save that. Can Louis immediately react again? Stansfield, is he offside? No. But he loses the ball. Club Bruges on the attack again. It's Sandra. Is it time for squeaky bomb time? No. As Eaton Laird collects. Courtois with a great ball into Stansfield. Now Neverton could get a clean run on goal. Not really clean. But he's still there. And scores! Counter attack of dreams. Courtois with a long ball into Stansfield. Very easily played. Stansfield in Neverton. And the goal. And that's the game done and dusted. We got a comfortable win in the end. 3 1 in our first ever European outing in this series. Next episode we will face the likes of Newcastle and Liverpool as well as going to Nicosia for our second European game. For now we are in 12th spot after 5 games, not the greatest of episodes, but still, we are of course still in there. Only one point behind the likes of Chelsea, Liverpool, Burnley are the leaders of the league, that tells you a lot, Arsenal in 2nd, Man United in 3rd. For now though, we are going to wrap up this episode. Hope you had a lot of fun with it. We'll see each other again in a few days. Until then, it's been Rebuild Sombrero. I'm out.